Yo, what up our family members got a hundred point increase in 46 days. Yo, I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. She's going to explain how she did, what she did using these cheat codes. So with that being said, you already know what time it is. Let's get right into it. Okay. All right. So, uh, what's your name, Miss? I'm sorry. Oh, my name is Madi. Madi. Hey, yeah. Madi. Hey, congratulations on executing our free information. A lot of people normally don't do it. They got questions, <laughs> reservations. But I got a lot of questions I want to ask you because everybody was in your shoes. Like, I wish I could help, but I, I don't remember how I felt the first time I sent off a letter to the credit girls. I, I probably was scared to like get sued or something. So <laughs> how did you feel? Like, did you already know about credit repair before you? No, I did not. I started March 14th, okay? Because mm -hmm. I got score master, so it tells me. I started off with a low, really low score, 546, which is bad. So um, once my car got totaled in February, I had to get a car. So I started doing my own credit report, but I started looking into um, YouTube and that's where I came along you guys' channel. So pretty much I followed every step you guys post. I looked at every video and I'm up a hundred points. So, so, hey, hey. so I don't know nothing about no laws, consumer laws. I didn't know anything about credit repair, nothing at all. Oh man, dang, that's crazy because a lot of people that watch the YouTube, they, they, you know, exhausted all measures. They went to these big companies who promised results but couldn't get it. And then, um, well, I did that too. I did Lexington Law and oh, I, every oh. month for years, and they could not, everything yes. was coming back verified, verified. So I wasn't able to get anything off. How many, how many years? I did that for, I think, about six, seven months when I realized I'm just, wasting my money pretty much now my next question would be was gonna be how much money and time do you think they've saved you just off free information on youtube a lot of money and time i'm telling you 46 days i'm up 100 points and all i'm waiting is for them to get rid of this capital one um account and get rid of that charge off and i mm -hmm. should be up some more points so Oof. oh how man many points, um not how many points what did you get? Like, what did you dispute? Like, okay, so pretty much I started off with cleaning my personal information, right? So I got all those old apps out. I ended up getting so many things just off phone numbers, wrong social security number, just a whole bunch of stuff taken out. Okay. Then I used the CFPB after I complained, after I did like something online, like I'll dispute. And I ended up getting eight inquiries taken off, but I did the telephone method. Okay. The only person it didn't work with was TransUnion. So I typed up the letter. Mm -hmm. I did the identity theft.gov and yep. sent it to them. And within 10 days, those came right off. Mm -hmm. So that actually <laughs> did. Um, and okay. then I did the collection, I asked them not to verify, but to validate. Mm -hmm. And then I got a letter. Um, I just actually got an email from CFPB saying that it was resolved. No monetary, but it was resolved and was deleted. I also so was deleted and now I'm just working on this charge off and some late payments I have with the okay. car payment I just paid off. So did you have any, um, late, you say you had some late payments removed as well? Yes, I just got a letter and this is, I think Children's Place, it was only one time. I've been with them for years and I have one late payment and I just got this in the mail today because it's 425, if you guys can see. They Ooh, put it hey, documentation boy. Uh huh. As current, so I'm good. Um, my credit score just went up 100 points within 47 days. Nice, nice. Now, let me ask you a question now. You said something about identity theft.gov. When we first got in the space, um, a lot of people were using it, but I don't think they were using it the right way. Now, a normal person would probably be scared to say identity theft, identity theft. Mm -hmm. um, but they strictly talks about you got to have written consent to put anything on your credit report. Did you watch that video before you did that? Or did you just say, hey, I'm just follow whatever he said? Yes. Written 16. What is it? 1681B. Oh, so my God. Hey, hello. Slow <laughs> down, though. Very well. Listen, I follow you very well. So I kind of, they don't have my written permission. 
they can't put it on there. Problem is people go get a car and you get your credit report pulled like 20 times for a car. Mm -hmm. So authorized them one time, but they pulled it 20 times. So that's how I got all the money taken off. And that, that's a hundred percent how I interpret it. Um, I think because we didn't never knew these laws, man, it was a lot right. of stuff that's happening behind the scenes that we don't know. And it's more to come too. And I'm glad, hey, look, hey, if you ever need a job, you know what I'm saying? You, might, you know those laws, you might have to talk for you. Cause you said, so, so since uh, February, so it's April. Yeah, it's more, as, well, it's, March 14, I started March 14. I lost my car was February 5th. It was actually totaled. So started March 14, cause I asked somebody, I asked for a little bit of help. I was like, hey, can you add me to your credit cards where it can reflect on my credit, you know? So mm -hmm. my score can go up so I can go buy me a vehicle. Um, I don't wanna have, with Capital One, I had a 16 point something APR. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna pay that no more. And I put down $14,000 for a Benz. I'm not doing that again, you know? Mm -hmm. and the person didn't say no didn't say yes and didn't brought it up again so i was like you know what? i will never ask anybody to do it so i'm gonna do it myself mm -hmm. and i pretty just listen to your videos follow everything you told me to follow on those videos and i got my score 100 points in 46 days all right so last question from me how does it feel to know that you got the power to do whatever you need to do with your credit it feels good. Once you know those consumer laws and you put them together, like your videos, it's so straightforward and to the point. I'm not watching a video for 30 minutes and it's still, I'm confused of what's going on. No, 10 minutes, 11 minutes the most and I got it. And what I do is I get on my laptop, I play your video and as, as you go, I'm pausing you and doing it at the same time. So. Hey, you too love that algorithm, hey, pause, <laughs> stop, <laughs> put it in. I appreciate it, man, that's crazy. So it's pretty, pretty game. It's so easy and pretty much anybody can do it, you know? Anybody, she, my daughter be like, Dave, daddy will make another video. I'm like, yup, gotta show the people the game. Yeah, definitely. I appreciate you guys. I'm telling you, I appreciate you and your channel a lot. Um, a lot. Oh yeah, so do, you have, uh, like, any, do you have any specific questions? While you yeah, I did a complaint for the C CFPB for this charge off that I have. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to get it removed as well as Capital One. Even though that account is paid off, it does have at least six late payments. And they're not, I don't call Capital One. I don't talk to them. They're not, you know, pretty much, they're saying they have to report it. Now I know the consumer law. So basically I said they didn't have my consent to report this account onto my credit. I didn't give them permission. So I'm hoping that, you know, takes it right off. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do it step by step, but my <laughs> that's watching it, I'm sorry. Now you know I can't tell you everything. Some stuff ain't supposed to be recorded, right? So if you want to do the same thing that she did, hit me up in the DM on Instagram, Dave Talks Money, right? On Instagram, Dave Talks Money. Show me some of the receipts that you got, show me some of the results that you got, and we can set up a Zoom call, and we can have like a 15 minute consultation with me and Mike, right? And we'll basically break down and answer some of your questions. However, we are throwing a live Q&A party, Make sure you register. It's live. Me and Mike want to go live and answer all y'all questions, right? It's live this Thursday coming up. So just schedule and make sure you do that. However, I'm going to break down what she um, what she did, the system that she went through, right? The end of mine. Now, she got clear on what she wanted, right? She wanted to remove those negative items off her credit report and get this car. She want to get a car, probably a Mercedes, I think I think what it is, with the red seats, a nice interior, a real clean sit back, relax. However, she got clear on what she really want. Then she analyzed her credit report, right? She analyzed her credit report, saw the negative items, and just watched my videos and the cheat codes, right? Clean up your personal information. You got to detach those um those negative accounts with your personal information. So what you want to do is clean up your personal information, your names, your addresses, your telephone number. You might have um your date of birth might be wrong. You might have your spouse on there. You want to clean up everything. You want to detach all that information, clean all that up, right? Now, next thing you want to do, hey, we got to freeze the snitches, right? You got to hush them up we gotta hush them up after you hush them up you want to set everybody up what i mean by set everybody up is you want to use my free secret letter hey the link is in the description it's free it'll get to your email all you have to do is put your email in and um i will send it to you right now once you do that you want to send it to experience transunion equifax after you send it to them 
you wait, right? And then in the meantime, you want to do is start building and start adding some positive accounts, right? So if you have maxed out credit cards, you want to pay that down. And also you want to start adding some more accounts, right? Now, if you don't have a credit card, you're missing out on 165 points. So a, a good credit card you can add that does no credit check is Tomo credit card, right? And also what you want to do is also get grain, but grain just, um, you need an Apple phone. You need, a, you know, sorry for my Samsung user, but you can get a lot of credit with grain. Also, if you need some installment accounts, right? A good place you can go to is Credit, Tra credit Strong and um, Self, right? Do rent reports if you're currently renting and boom pay. They also report to the three credit bureaus, right? And then the bully method, the KO method, right? The whoo, knock them out, right? So you wanna use a CFPB to knock everybody out because you know, sometimes the credit bureaus like that crazy. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next class.